Just a recap in case you missed the first video. This is a 2001 BMW 330Ci. I'm building a spec E46 race car. Um, a lot of the car is already stripped out. The drive shaft, the fuel tank, some of the uh, heat shields and stuff are out of the way. The rear differential is out. Um, so right now I'm removing the rear suspension and rear differential subframe and replacing it with a new one. This car won't have a parking brake when I'm finished, so I'm going to go ahead and just cut the parking brake cables to get it out of the way. The rear sway bar needs to be upgraded, and it's kind of in the way, so I'm going to go ahead and drop it out. Now I'm going to drop the lower arms to make it easier to get the caliper and the brake line out of the way. The shocks are going to be replaced so you can be a little bit rough on them. I'm just going to move it out of the way. Remove the caps from the caliper slides. Now I'm going to remove this clip from the brake hose. Now I'm going to unscrew the caliper slides. A small pry bar is all it takes to get the spring off the front of the caliper. I'm supporting the caliper with a hook so that it doesn't put any extra tension on the brake hose. Now the caliper brackets can come off. One more bolt left holding on the rotor. A little bit of persuasion from a dead blow hammer. Now the e-brake shoes can come off. Since I cut the e-brake cables, these parking brake shoes are just dead weight. I'm going to get them out of the way. Okay, Allen head socket on the hold down. I would be doing this a little different if I were reusing the parts. I'm going to take a punch and straighten up these little locks on the side of the axle nut. Here's a better look at the nut after decompressing it from around the axle. little penetrating oil.
Time to see if I can get the hub out with the slide hammer. I can. Now to get the snap ring out. Now the backing plate. Top nut on the rear shock. Driver's side. Rear trailing arm. Before I go back with the new rear subframe, I'm going to stiffen up the body. Okay, I've got the first plate welded in. I've got three more to do underneath the car. The purpose of these is to stop the body from cracking when the rear cradle tries to move around. So I was cleaning up the third spot to weld in the other plate. And as I cleaned it up, I realized there was a crack. This is the type of crack that these plates are supposed to prevent. So I'm going to stop drill the end of each side of the crack, weld up the crack, and then install the plate and weld it in. I know the crack's not easy to see here, but drilling a round hole at the end of the crack will give a smooth surface instead of like a sharp edge so that the crack is less likely to continue and spread. Now I'm just going to weld up the crack, install the plate, and weld it in. Now that I've got the plate welded in and the crack welded up, this should hold much better. These are more spacers than they are stiffeners, so I'm just going to tack weld them in place.
Now the new rear subframe is ready to go in. Okay, now we're ready for the next episode where I should be installing the limited slip rear differential, differential cooler, and the upgraded rear suspension.